none of man's fantasies of evil can compare with the reality of Jaws. Roy Scheider, Robert Shaw, Richard Dreyfuss, Jaws. In 1975, Jaws, my favorite film of all time, hit theaters to critical acclaim, becoming one of the first films so successful that the term blockbuster was officially coined. And as a direct result of the unexpected massive success of Jaws, an absolute fuck-ton of copycats rose from the primordial turd to get a piece of the green. Barracuda, The Last Shark, aka Great White, Piranha, Piranha 2, The Spawning, directed by fucking James Cameron of all people, yeah we'll get into that someday, Tin Terrera, Killer Shark, Tentacles, Mako, The Jaws of Death, Devilfish, Orca, The Killer Whale, and a crap load of other ones. Including today's masterpiece, Up From The Depths, also known as Jurassic Jaws in Japan. It was directed in 1979 by Charles B. Griffith. Now, if that sounds like a familiar name to some of you, you've more than likely seen his most famous work, the original 1960s Little Shop of Horrors. The plot is, well, let me know if you've heard this one before. An earthquake causes a hole in the earth to break open, unleashing a prehistoric fish that starts feeding off the tourists at a fancy rich people's resort. The characters are all stock, surfer dude, hot chick, drunken boat captain, scientist. Though I do, however, love the resort manager, Oscar Forbes, played by Kedrick Wolf, Because he just, he chews the shit out of every scene he's in. It's great. Rachel, what's the matter with you? Are you pregnant? Mr. Lasso. Oh my god, you've been raped! I also love this Japanese guy who decides to go all samurai on this fish and kill it with a sword. Good morning, Mr. Suki. Ohio, I must have Mr. Ford. Ohio's a nice state. Now, for a movie like this, you can't really come into it expecting much. I mean, really, we come here to see people getting brutally mauled and eaten and torn to pieces by a killer shark. I say shark because look at the poster. It's clearly a fucking shark, even though when you actually see the thing, it looks like a retarded, bug-eyed guppy fish. Remember in Jaws the Revenge? Yeah, we're comparing this to Jaws 4. When Sean Brody gets killed, and it's just a mess of cuts and flashes to the point where you can't even tell someone just died. Well, every kill in this movie, and I mean every fucking kill, is exactly that. Cut, blood, cut, blood, flash, cut, blood, cut, blood, flash, cut. It just assaults your eyes, it's horrible. The whole time I was watching this movie, I kept thinking, why do all the voices sound really badly dubbed? Like, am I losing my mind? I mean, listen to this. Oh. Uh, uh. I want to go to fish. Quiet. That's some bad ADR, and the whole movie sounds like that. Well, no, I'm not crazy. Joe Cantrell, who plays the photographer who dies in the beginning, actually said, and I quote, one reason the dialogue is so stilted is that somehow the soundtrack and the written script were lost. Weeks after we'd finished shooting, some of us actors assembled in a theater to watch silent clips, try to remember what we'd said, and dub that in. It's ad-libbed, and the reason some people sound like others is that we dubbed for more than ourselves. Well, I mean, I guess that explains it. And guess how they kill the fish? The scientist guy is attacked and dies in the boat. Please don't throw me in again, fellas. Let it get me. I asked him not to do it again. Please, God. Oh, <coughs> oh how tragic. Literally less than five minutes later, they tie an explosive charge around his waist, throw him in the water, and drag him behind the boat like a fucking ragdoll. It's fantastic. Only to have the shark eat the guy and not blow up anyway. So a surfer dude jumps in, does some shit that I can't tell because it's so dark, and then BOOM! This shit makes the ending from Jaws the Revenge look good in comparison, and that's just sad. Up From the Depths is a dumb movie. Even by B-movie standards, it's pretty dumb. All but two characters suck, and you can't even depend on it for good cheesy shark-killing action because the fish is barely even in the movie. Even the director looked back at this movie with disdain, saying how horrible an experience it was. And again, I quote, We had it written by one of the typists or secretaries in the office who didn't have any thoughts of becoming a writer. I think Roger Corman did it to punish me, to send me out to the Philippines where I didn't know what I was getting into. I was making an action picture, but the Philippines people were all so depressed and they made this goofy looking fish. I told them that we'd make it a comedy and their eyes lit up, so I sent back a comedy on one plane and I arrived on the next one. And by the time I arrived, Roger Corman had already cut 75 minutes out. Now think about that, is that not a scary thought? This fucking movie was supposed to be longer. I'd say a couple of 30-30s. Yeah, well, I'd take a... Wait, is that Arlie Ermey? No, 